welcome back guys so i actually took a little break from this series updates now i'm back because i actually have to research to find more episodes to tell you people and I actually found out that i didn't really conclude the one i've been doing so it turns out that we have been talking about um deeper as suraj um you know infidelity and infertility drama continuation when i say infidelity i mean um suraj remarrying because last time i told the people that he went and remarried another girl and when i talk about infertility it is about you know suraj still thinking that he cannot have a child so i actually found an article somewhere so let us read the article and i also explain you know because i've seen a couple of episodes leading up to this um davania tries to talk to Deepa about the right decision to claim for sonar's custody um Deepa, who is is hurt by Suraj constant allegation, makes it clear that Sona and Rupa are her daughters. As a mom, she has full right to decide whom her kids will stay with. She also shares that Suraj will have to prove his claim to be Sona's father. Suraj um und undergoes a medical test. Suraj seeks Lavanya's blessing before undergoing a medical test to prove that he could likely be the father. Lavanya feels happy since Suraj finally making an attempt to undergo a test again. She keeps praying for Suraj and Deepa to be happily married. At this point, I told you that um, Lavanya has become good and the only person that is even supporting Deepa. Mishka, who is the villain, continues her game and decides to replace the test just like she did prior. She asks the doctor staff to follow her instruction. When he denies, she points a gun and threatens to kill the doctor. Later, Suraj is eager to know the results. The staff who Mishka have threatened tries to hint Suraj about something but fails. Mishka notices this from a distance and threatens him again. Suraj notices Kabi's wife at the f fertility clinic. He is deeply shocked to learn that Kabi can never be a father. Meanwhile, Kabi is also terminally ill and might not survive. Uh, might not survive long. The doctor who have been treating Kabi and his wife for years explained the medical condition of Suraj. This leaves him shattered until now. Suraj thought that Sona and Rupa are Kabi and Deepa's daughters. Suraj starts feeling unwell as he recalls all the baseless allegations he have made against Deepa and Kabi. Suraj talks to Joy over the phone and shares the information that he have just learned. Joy, who have also tried to convince Suraj that the misconception that they have that he have really mis that he really have misunderstood Deepa all this while tells him to correct all his past mistake. Suraj feels guilty and he decides to go do a DNA test. And also, the kids talk to Sur Deepa about the time they have to spend with Suraj. Deepa blames her luck and feels bad for the young for the young girls who could never be with their parents. Suraj pays them a visit, which makes them happy. Suraj talks to Deepa about the health, during which she hints that her days are numbered. Deepa also expresses her last wish. She wants Suraj to accept her daughter. Later, he spends time with the daughters and quickly takes sample of their hair for DNA test. Lavana and Prabhu also meet the kids and they find them in a gloomy state because of Deepa's health. And later on, when he went and did DNA, he found out that the children are his children he was heartbroken. Now the question is, if um you know the children are biologically yours via DNA, that means he is infertile. This is not how he found out that he's infertile and went and confronted Mishka and was like, So you have been lying to me all this way. So you guys have been lying to me all this way. So I'm actually fertile and not infertile. And you people made me believe I'm infertile. And also, like I said earlier on, he was accusing Deepa that like Deepa was cheating with Kabi and that you know the children are actually Deepa and Kabi's children. And that he doesn't have anything to do with the children. He actually literally kicked Deepa out on his wedding day with uh, Mishka. Um, the Deepa actually had their child there. He kicked both Deepa and the child out. I was like, you went and slept with another man and brought the child for me to take. So you take me as a fool, you know, stuff like that. And now after five years of torturing Deepa, he is now finding out that Deepa did not lie. And the child belongs to him and also that he is not infertile. You guys might actually see that Deepa is saying her last wish and that she's numbering her days. I'm actually saying that Deepa might likely die. I will do the episode probably tomorrow if she will die or not. But for now, how do you guys feel learning this whole stuff that this episode will happen in the future? Me, I don't know this 30 30 minutes they're showing. It likely might happen by next year. But you know, for now, thanks for watching. Up to this point, this is just how he found out that he's not infertile again. And next episode about this infecta and infecta, it should be how he now confronted Mishka and what will Mishka say after she was confronted. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.